Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'll take it. Well, the Southern Baptist Convention okay. traditionally is yeah. against abortion. Well, my name is Todd Bullis. This is my wife, um, Stephanie, and our kids yeah. here. Yeah. So, um, Roger Brewer. Hey, Roger. Nice to meet you. I'm Jane. Hey, yeah. nice to meet you. Um, well, let me give you one of these just so in case, you know, you can read up more. We're trying to make abortion illegal in Texas. So uh -huh. basically what happens is the, the Southern Baptist, all right, they were, they never really opposed slavery. Then they repented of um, slavery right sure. a long time ago right. they were for abortion they repented of abortion they said women could have a an abortion you know f um for like rape or um, for the life of the mother and they repented of that right so what happens is as we are more educated and follow the word of god and do be obedient to what the word of god says um we start acting like it right <clears throat> so in Texas, we have over 60,000 abortions every year. That's the, like the official number. It's really more like 100,000 a year, okay? And we have over 70,000 churches here in Texas, evangelical churches, all right? And I'm not talking like Mormon church or Catholic. I'm talking about evangelical. Over 70,000 pastors. And we don't look at um, abortion, the unborn child sacrifice, biblically. We really don't. We have a good moral opinion that it's wrong, but like if they were killing like people over 55, if it was legal to kill people over 55, we wouldn't be like, well, let's make a law that people over 55 that have jobs we can't kill. Or people over 55 that, okay. you know, so that's what we do. The pro-life movement regulates how, when, and where we kill babies, right? When we can and can't. That's what the pro-life movement does. It just regulates. It's never put forward a bill to make it illegal. So the reason we're out in front of churches is because when a bill actually does come up, an abolitionist bill, because we're not pro-lifers, we're abolitionists. We believe that we should just make it illegal because every human is created in the image of God. All right, and we don't legislate which humans we can and can't kill, right? So I, we are on the same page on this, right? And we, we have the both mental um, good opinion, right, you know, right. it's sin, it's murder, right? Um, so last year there was a bill that came up, all right, um, to make abortion illegal, all right? And nobody got behind it. We had like 11 senators um, that actually co-signed and put it, but none of the churches, no, no, you know, like almost nobody showed up to support it and it got tabled, right? So what we... What we say is, is that godly men who stand at the gates in their cities need to rise up and oppose and make abortion illegal, all right? And so that, that's all we're saying. So we're trying to, because what happens is, this is what happens. Everybody goes to church on Sunday. It's a good, it's a good, good thing, right? But it's more like a country club thing, all right? I mean, even though we do worship, you know, we do sing praises to God. But in Amos 5, um, the Bible says, God told Amos to go to his people and say, though... Okay, and yeah. I'm sorry, because we uh -huh. don't have to get to church. Um, uh -huh. So, what is your point in being out in front of this church? What are you What right. are you trying to communicate to the parishioners here, I guess, in a, in a right. heartbeat? Because you've got like 20 seconds as they pass by. I'm just curious about right. that. So, we're just trying to be a voice for the voiceless and expose uh -huh. the evil that we're apathetic and live with and don't do anything to help make it illegal. So that's all we're saying, you know, like, and literally Amos five is really good because it really convicted me. Um, God, God sent Amos to his people. All right. And what he said was, is look, I, God hates your worship. Though your prayers be many, I will not hear them. You know, your festivals, they're a stench to my nostrils. First bring justice to the land. Cause you know what was going on? Child sacrifice was going on in the land. And you know what his people did? Nothing. And that's what we do as Christians in society. And I can prove this, that it's not a concern for churches like this, like all around America, all around Texas, because in Texas, there's 13,000 kids right now in foster care waiting to be adopted and nobody wants them. The Christians don't want them. The gays and lesbians are adopting them. We adopted six. Okay. We know that Texas really doesn't care about orphans and the unborn. And we should like, and, and the way that you know, that we care is because we care. Do <laughs> we yeah, do something. And so, um, yeah, I think I might. But, you know, we're not here because we hate anybody here or, or, you know, I mean, 
I, this church is as good as any church in Texas. You know, okay. that's that's my person. Uh, so thanks, I'm not. Uh, I appreciate it. Hey. Appreciate your time. Hey, yeah. thank you for coming out, man. You're hey, welcome. thank you. God bless, man. This, this yeah, um, that may be your message, but that's not what I see here. That, right. That's okay. But you came out and talked to us, so yeah. now you know, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you know. We well, already knew. Well, <laughs> we already yeah. knew. Well, then why? Why aren't why aren't you you guys as a because you know what this church here alone could adopt every single kid in foster care waiting to be adopted not only that but we had the Republican convention and you know what they said we need to regulate not make it illegal Texas right for life all right the big pro life group they oppose making it Ill illegal what they want to do is regulate it you know why because that's where the money is and you know where were all the Christians where were all the pastors they could definitely you know. Um, the Supreme Court is just an opinion. You know, Dred Scott, the Dred Scott ruling, that's still in effect. Black people are still only three-fifths human by the Supreme Court. That was never overturned. Just because the Supreme Court says that abortion is a woman's right, it doesn't mean it's our God. <laughs> you know? So. Hey, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.